All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the song is Mexican Radio. Uh, this is coming from the artist SPM. Let's check it out. Uh, uh. Home easy, Mark Yo. easy. This for you, this. baby. No, no joke. This sounds really old, guys. Definitely sounds like something coming from the West Coast. At least in terms of the beat, the beat at least sounds like something I would I would expect to come from like the West Coast in the '90s, or maybe this is coming from the overall gangster rap uh, genre from the '90s. In my kitchen. Cadillacs never lie on rap Smoke killer herb till my lungs collapse Lost two grand last night shooting crafts Then I hit the Ritz and bought a few laps Just got a letter from my Wait a second, guys. Then I hit the Ritz and bought a few laps Just got a letter from But what are laps? Like lap dances maybe? Alright, we have a gangster. <laughs> then I hit the Ritz and bought a few laps Just got a letter from my old best friend Hold on, guys. SPM. This is South Park Mexican. Wait a second, guys. I went into this completely all wrong here. All right, so <laughs> guys, hold on. He sounds just like him. This is him. This, this is him. All right, so guys, a couple of years ago, um, for, on the channel, uh, someone suggested a couple of songs from him. We checked them out. They were dope. All right, so let's continue then. Okay. Apologies. South Park Mexican. He's from uh, Houston. Yeah. Or around the area, or or Texas in general. But I think it's Houston. I know you guys in the comments are going to come at me hard. I remember this. I remember this. <laughs> All right. Apologies. Let's get it, guys. 25 in a federal pen. Wanna come home, but he said until then. Could I look over his three children? They wake him up at 5 a.m. for Fruit Loops. Draped up in white overalls and black boots. He has like a super drawn out and like uh, like ex exaggerated like vocal. Guys. For Fruit Loops. Draped up in white overalls and black boots Used to drive a lax sipping gin and juice Now we need money for some chips and soups Run around town with a sack of rocks Polo shirts with them Guys, those are not like stones I just want you to know he's not talking about like like gravel, bro Run around town with a sack of rocks Polo shirts with the matching socks Mom, I promise one day I'ma stop I'ma grow up and be an astronaut <laughs> <laughs> Astro I'ma grow up and be an astronaut Astro not. I'm not stopping. That's what he said here. Stop. I'ma grow up and be an astronaut. <laughs> I'm on a Mexican radio. 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 I'm on a Mexican no. radio. Radio. Uh, uh. I'm on a Mexican radio. All right, so the chorus sounds like it is extremely. How do I define this? How do I define this, guys? Uh, it feels like if you hear it once, it's so almost odd that it hooks you, and then you can't get this out of your head. It feels like that. If that makes any sense, guys. Like think of something that is so odd and different and interesting, right? that you cannot remove it from your head. That's where we are. I believe it. Absolutely. Now daddy come first and daddy come next. Daddy represent that's Crewston, Texas. Silly punks jealous. Houston, Crewston, Screwston, Houston. Oh yeah. Of the SP mix, but your whole crew should be wearing Kotex. I'm oh, <laughs> You guys are jealous of me? All right. Well, don't worry. Your whole, the, everyone, everyone in your group, all this group of men that are jealous of me. Don't worry. I got something for you here. Cotton, cotton. What, what's the thing called? It's a cotton. It's not a swab. It's like a cotton. I don't, what is it called? <laughs> it's like a. I'm trying to think of a word for it. How do you define that? Like a cotton tube, right? Shove it in your, you know, your your, your urethra. That's not where it goes on a woman. But you understand what I'm saying, right? That's what he's saying here. She would wear Kotex. 
right? Men don't wear Kotex. No such thing. Not a single man in the history of men has ever worn a Kotex. Okay? But, apparently, if you're jealous of this man, it's time. Go ahead. <laughs> Get by and I'ma get high 13.5, I'ma let my birds fly Everybody That's what we sound looking for, 13.5, noted Get high, 13.5, I'ma let my birds fly Everybody knows that my back is not dry Everybody knows my back, this guy's a comedian, bro He's a comedian, he's Mexican, right? So how can his, how can his back be dry? That's wild, bro. Listen, uh, that's that is absolutely insane, right? It can't be dry. It has to be, you know, it has to be wet. That's what he's saying here, right? That's guys. That is that is a crazy lie to say. Respect though, right? I let my birds fly. Everybody knows that my back is not dry. If you say it is, you would did the damn lie. Rolling through life like a tumbleweed. I'm the young pres of my company. I'm catching hell cause I love my weed Baby can you please let your husband breathe Trying to dodge death and trying to dodge jail Oh damn friends trying to do my kill People used to call me a bum from hell Laughed at my car when my muffler fell I would have I would have done the same thing bro, I'm sorry Like if I would have seen that happen I'm gonna laugh, but I'll help you. Listen, I'm, I'm, that's just the type of person I am, right? I can't help it. It's funny. I'm gonna help you. I'm not gonna make fun of you, but initially I'm gonna be like, bro, how did your muffler fall off of your car? I'm going to. That's gonna be my response. I'm telling you, I can't get away from that. It, it is what it is, right? You're my brother. I'm still gonna help you. I'm gonna definitely help you for real. Just, just know, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> You a liar. You're a liar, sir. All right. I'm not sure I can trust your your words anymore. All right. I'm not sure. All right. Hey, up to right now, I'm I don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Prove it. Prove it right now. I'm not gonna believe you ever again. I'm telling you. I don't know what to say here, bro. All right. Up to now, I'm like, okay, he's a gangster. He's you know, cool dude, making jokes and things like that, right? <sighs> then you get to okay, look, you're, you're pulling buds because you have a, you got, I guess you got a gigantic dime bag, okay, gigantic one. Congratulations. You're gripping wood grain. You're in Texas. That's what they do, right? Um, yeah, letting the seat recline with the swangers, right? I get that. Then you get to this line. I got the Asian girl with the big behind. You are lying. That's it. You're, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore, guys. All right. You just said a, a statistical improbability. The seat recline. Got the Asian girl with the big behind. Take her to the telly and she love me long time. Remember when I begged you to buy my tapes? Now I buy cribs on the sides of lakes. Okay. Pray to the Lord and ask why they hate. Cause they got the nuts about the size of grapes. 22 inches on my dually two ton. And the candy paint costs 8500. Even if I'm in my swimming pool having fun. Still I stay strapped with a waterproof gun. I'm asking you please can you pray for me reverend. When I die. Will I go to heaven? Trying to count the TVs in my car, I got 11. Pioneer Reed, 007. What do you, what do you, what do you need? Why do you need so many TVs in your car, bro? Like, I get, like, maybe one, you know, you go to a fast food restaurant or whatever, you can eat in your car, right? And you have the one TV, just, you know, because you're bored. Uh, other than that, what do you need? Uh, uh, wait. 
maybe hater vision could be hater vision, right? Like you have them on all on while you're driving and all the haters behind you can basically watch with you <laughs> as you pull off. <laughs> it could be that. It could be, it could just be like hater vision. It most likely is just hater vision. I'm on the radio. But by the way this sounds, I'm guessing it was there were TVs with the big backs. So I don't know how you get 11 of those gigantic big back TVs from the 90s in there, bro. That's wild. I'm on the Mexican radio. Chunk, deuce, no truce, blow truce, no idea. It almost sounds like he had one of his songs or something be played on a radio station in Mexico, and he was so happy that he came out with this song as like a like a, like an achievement, if that makes any sense. Sure, it's an achievement, absolutely, right? Uh, you get your song played on the radio, it's, it's a good thing, always, right? People know your name. But that's what it sounds like. It sounds like he just was super happy and decided to, you know, brag for the most part about having his song on a Mexican radio uh, while delivering some of the funniest bars I've ever heard in my life. Guys. Absolutely. Respect. But all right, listen. Uh, let me know in the comments of the next thing uh, from him that I should be checking out. And I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right. And listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day uh, thoroughly. Thoroughly.